I'm considering taking out a loan to pay for a hair transplant. Oh, yeah, well, it's not a relationship one, this one. I wanted to talk about it because I, I'm not far off this kind of zone. I'm losing it on the signs up here. And I've been thinking about getting that filled in. I had a mate who'd done it. He lost his hair early. He lost it in his early 20s and it started receding back and he got it done and he looks brilliant now. So I'm thinking, yeah, maybe that's something I need to start considering because it is going on the sides. It is going on the sides. So let's see what this gentleman's got to say and we'll see if we can help him as always. I've been going bald since I was in my early 20s and I've always felt self-conscious and miserable about it. It's a really powerful thing, losing your hair to a man. Some men can handle it better than others. Many just feel that it's your virility and your youth going and it can really affect a man. I've seen it. I'm now 35 and very thin on top. All my mates have full heads of hair, which makes me even more aware of my lack of follicles. Sometimes they tease me about it, and I pretend their comments don't hurt, but I'm lying. Yeah, it's mates for you. That's mates for you, really, isn't it? Personally, I would say I'm quite sensitive about the subject and explain to them that I'm not happy about it. And maybe if you've got actual friends, you'll still get teased, obviously, because they're blokes. But you might also get a bit of sympathy and the odd arm round your shoulder. Men are capable of it, I promise you. Even your mates who rip the mickey out of you constantly, they are capable of it because everybody has their own insecurities. They'll be insecure about something. Everybody is. And yours is just more visible than what theirs may be. Don't be shy to talk about it. Just because you're a bloke doesn't mean you can't talk about it. I'm sure I'd feel more confident with women if I wasn't so bald. I'm looking into transplants and they cost thousands. I have some money saved and can get a loan for the rest. Should I go ahead? It's an interesting one. Now, one thing I would say is never borrow money for something like that. You shouldn't borrow money for anything apart from buying a house. That's just the way I live. Debt is bad, and especially in the way the world is at the minute. Credit is not a good situation to be getting into. So don't borrow any money for anything. If you can save up enough and you've got the money in the bank, let's say, what is it, three, four grand to have it done, and you've worked hard and you've saved over a couple of years that three or four grand, that's actual money. It's not free money that you've borrowed. If you can spend that on getting your hair done, that means you really want it. Because I've done that before. I've saved up. I wanted a new laptop. And I saved up two grand for a nice Apple laptop. It took me a while to do it. And then when I actually had the cash there to go and buy the laptop, I was like, oh, it took me ages to save up for that. And I bought a used one. You save your money because it's real money then. When you're borrowing the money, it's not real money and it's easier to spend it, isn't it? So I would say save it in cash and then you'll really know if you want to do it. But if it is affecting you, yeah, it's something It's something you, you might want to... If it's going to, There's a reason why women get boob jobs all the time, right? It's their self-confidence and their self-image. And it's the same for men. This is the male boob job, isn't it? The hair transplant. So I don't have a problem if you want to do it. But what I would say is have a test run of being bald first. Shave it. Get some clippers or go to the barber and just have like a, a 0 0.5, boom, all over. You can always wear a hat for a few months while it grows back, can't you? And see if it suits you, because you might find that it suits you. And some girls do quite like it. Look at Jason Statham. I don't think Jason Statham would have trouble with women. Do you? Right, let's see what Deirdre, the professional agony aunt of the sun says. And I don't read these in advance. I just bookmark after reading the headline. And the first time I read it is when we're reading it together here. So let's see if I tie up with what Deirdre, the best in the business for the sun, has to say. I realise how upsetting it can be for a young man to lose his hair. Yeah, I don't think you can, because you're a woman, sorry. But hair transplants aren't just expensive, they're also painful, and like all surgeries come with risks. Fair point, boring, but fair point. Many women find bald men very attractive and sexy. Think of Jason Statham and Bruce Willis. <laughs> yes, I don't, honestly, I don't really use an advancement. You know, when you think of bald men that are famous that women would want. What you got? You got Jason Statham, not so much Bruce Willis anymore. The Rock, he's bald, wouldn't he? Women, he'd, he'd be fighting him off with a shitty stick, The Rock, wouldn't he? Before you go ahead with a transplant, consult a good hairdresser for advice and a new style. Well, if he's going really thin on top, he's going to need more than a hairdresser for a new style. He's going to need a bloody magician, Deirdre. My support pack, Raising Self-Esteem, should help your confidence. Yeah, we weren't far off there. So, yeah, I would say, talk to your friends seriously. Say, look, please, lads, stop. To, I'm really sensitive about it. I'm up for take, I'm up for Mickey taking, but leave it out, will you? Because I am, I'm really sensitive about it and it's upsetting me a bit. 
And your mates will understand. They might call you some names for it, but they, they'll understand. Like I say, everyone has their insecurities. It's just yours is more visible than others. And then try the 0 0.5 all over, because you might look brilliant. You never know. And if you still want to do it, save the money for cash. And then when the cash is in the bank, see if you're able to spend it on doing it. And that will tell you if you really want to do it or not. But yeah, I'm considering it. I've got a little savings pot I've started on my... Like my uh, current account has a save the change feature, right? And every time you spend something, it rounds it up and bangs it away. And that is going to be my hair transplant pot for when it really goes in a couple of years' time. And I'll see if I'm able to spend it. But I've done the port I've done a grade one all over not that long ago. And I've got a bit of a funny shaped head from an accident when I was a kid. But other than that, yeah, I could live with that. I could live with that. What do you think then? What advice would you give this gentleman? Put it down in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. As long as you like uh, agony aunt and relationship problems, stuff like that, because that's what I do here, isn't it? See ya.